Who here has done uh, ministry to, to the homeless before? Has anyone done any homeless ministry? Many of you, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful ministry. I recommend every Catholic do a little bit of ministry to the homeless. It's such a beautiful ministry. Every one of us, the people on the streets, we should see them as our friends. And when you're dealing with, with the homeless, it's complicated. There's no quick fix. You know, if you spend enough time doing this ministry, it's, it's a mysterious thing. You know, why people are, are stuck on the streets. So for, for, it's for, you know, so many different reasons. And when you work with people who, who do this ministry pretty much full time, they say, don't, don't go out there trying to fix people. Just love them. You know, show them their dignity. You know, maybe learn their names, ask them how they're doing, things like that. And so again, it's a complicated thing. And even poor Lazarus, who was at the gate of the rich man, why he was stuck there on the gate, it complicated, you know. And the scandal, and the Lord, I feel, revealed this to me once when I was reading this gospel. The scandal is not that the rich man didn't give half of his possessions away and help the foreign missions and, you know, give Lazarus a nice room and, and help, let him sit at his table, although that would have been great. The scandal is that all Lazarus was longing for was a few leftovers. For the rich man, that would have been nothing. And had the rich man simply shared a few leftovers with the man at his gate, he wouldn't have ended up in hell. Can you imagine such a simple, small thing? You've heard me say before, think small. Sometimes we're all into thinking big. It's good to think big, but all, we also need to think small. It's called the principle of subsidiarity. If each one of us took care of the people around us, everyone would be fine. And that's the scandal. What's, and again, as I was pondering this and, and really kind of felt, you know, kind of the Lord's revelation to me reading this, the scandal too is that this, this rich man, he probably never even noticed Lazarus. Or if he did, he didn't care didn't care. And again, as we as Catholics, the people on the streets, they're our friends. This rich man, he should have at least, you know, what's his name? Get to know him. When you walk by, don't ignore him. Hey, how you doing, Lazarus? You know, check up on him. Share, you know, whatever, even if it's just leftovers with him. Show some love and dignity to a person in a difficult situation. And again, that's the heart we're supposed to have. You know, and, and, and so the idea is every one of us in our lives, we have people at our gate. It might be someone in your classroom who everyone ignores and maybe bullies who's just looking for a little affirmation. All, all you need to do is say, hey, how you doing? Simple little things can change a person's day. And these people, they're right at our gate. For some of us, it's someone in our own home. Maybe we have a little brother who's... You know, whatever, lonely, struggling, we ignore them. Too busy with our friends, too busy, you know, on the satanic media, you know, giving all of our attention and, you know, heart and mind and soul to what this nonsense we're looking at on the media. Meanwhile, our little brother, what's he going through? He's right in the room next door to you, and you couldn't care less about him. It's awful. The person at your gate, do you care about him? You know, do you, do, you, do you notice him? Are you willing to do the most basic things? Again, your little brother who's lonely, just go for a walk, go play some basketball a few minutes of your time. Is that too much to ask? These are the types of things that wind us up in hell. Again, it's not the fact that we didn't give everything we have to help the foreign missions, although that's a good thing to do. Please help the foreign missions. We're supposed to do that also as Catholics. But if we don't notice the person right at our gate, who's just longing for some basic little attention or help or whatever, we're missing the boat. Our hearts are not in the right place. And again, if, if, when, we're, when we're touched by the Lord, our heart should naturally notice. Our heart should go out to people. You should notice people. That's, that's a sign that you're filled with the Holy Spirit, and that needs to be fostered. You know, we, if, if you find yourself, like one of the beautiful things, I just love this. I think I'm getting more sentimental in my old age, and it's a good thing. But, you know, sometimes I'm driving along, 
I'll just see a random person walking along. My heart goes out to the person. I don't know anything about the person, but just I, I just I kind of feel like just a compassion. I say, oh, Lord, bless that person. That's the heart of God. That's a sign that the, the, the love of God is in you. And if you, as you experience that, foster that. Your heart should go out to everyone, <laughs> you know, love for everyone so that you don't miss the person right at your gate who's not looking for much, just looking for a little love. You can give that love to the people around you.